The narrative unfolds in a quaint Australian town, introducing us to a cast of characters. Matt Simmons, a construction laborer and former rugby athlete, is married to Amelia. Marcus, Amelia's sibling, is also part of the story. Arnold, a local agriculturist, is another character we meet. A family comprising Peter, Jenny, Bella, and Samuel is vacationing and happens to pass through this town. Peter is Bella and Samuel's stepfather. They halt in this town for a break from their travel. Bella begins to explore the area. Coincidentally, a local fair is underway with various goods being sold. Bella, however, is not fond of the typical small town vibe. She encounters Dennis, a street artist known for his sketches. Subsequently, we meet a couple, Jackson and Vanessa. Vanessa, a nurse, is expecting a baby, a joyous news she shares with Jackson. As the local rugby team's captain, Jackson shares this happiness with his teammates. Suddenly, a loud noise from Vanessa's car radio disrupts the peace causing discomfort to everyone. The town is abuzz with excitement for an evening rugby match. Matt, the team's ex-captain, has a strained relationship with the current Captain Jackson. A trivial matter sparks a dispute between the two. As the rugby match commenced, Seth Grimes, a radio commentator, was providing a play-by-play -play account over the airwaves. Bella was present to witness the match. Peter and his family, who were in search of Bella, also arrived at the venue, an irate Peter reprimanded Bella for wandering off without informing him. The match was progressing smoothly, with everyone thoroughly enjoying the event. Suddenly, the stadium's floodlights went out, plunging the area into darkness. Five large lights appeared in the sky, moving towards the stadium. These lights were so bright that they illuminated the entire stadium. The spectators were both fascinated and frightened. Some even began recording the spectacle on their mobile phones. Out of the darkness, a massive spaceship emerged, descending upon the town. This was an extraterrestrial vessel carrying aliens who began to attack the people. They caused explosions in the stadium, and some disembarked from the ship to attack on foot. Amelia, who was searching for her mother, found Matt instead. Matt, along with Amelia, managed to reach Peter's van. Peter and Bella were there, but Jenny and Samuel were nowhere to be found. Peter had lost them in the ensuing chaos. He was about to go back to look for them when Matt intervened. As the extraterrestrial onslaught intensified, it was deemed unsafe, and a promise was made to reunite the family later. Jackson, Vanessa, Marcus, and Seth joined the others in the van amidst the chaos. The aliens were indiscriminately firing and causing fatalities. Peter maneuvered the van away from the stadium, evading the alien fire and surrounding explosions. He drove the van across a grassy field towards the nearest road. Upon reaching the road, Matt attempted to tune into the radio for updates, but it was silent. Suddenly, an alien aircraft began tailing the van. An Australian Air Force jet intervened, attacking the alien aircraft and forcing it to retreat. Numerous jets were patrolling the sky. A military drone crashed onto the road, obstructing it. Arnold and Dennis arrived at the crash site. Dennis persuaded everyone to take shelter in a nearby abandoned factory for the night. Okay, stop fellow astronauts, you need to use the internet safely. So I recommend you get acquainted with NordVPN. Get 4 months of safe internet for free by subscribing on a 2 year plan via the link in the description. Like you, I want to watch Netflix, but once again, I can't seem to find the movie Wolf 2039 because it's just not available in my region. But when I use NordVPN and I switch my region to Turkey, boom, I get to see whatever I want. The link to the bonus for months by subscribing on a two-year plan is below. Don't miss out. And not only can I now watch whatever I want, I'm also protected on the internet. And oh yeah, that's not all. NordVPN is available for any platform, which makes it really easy to use. I often use NordVPN on my phone and the app has a clear interface, and I can quickly connect to an optimal server or select it manually. One account protects up to six devices, and you also get free encrypted cloud space for any of the subscriptions or one terabyte starting with the complete subscription. Take advantage of NordVPN unique offer at the link in the description at nordvpn.com slash filmcrop. And it's also risk-free with the Nord 30-day money-back guarantee. They agreed, still in shock, and decided to rest until morning. The next morning, they were stunned to see a colossal alien ship in the sky. The ship was a quarter of the Earth's size and was stationary in Earth's orbit, akin to a moon. Smaller spacecraft were shuttling to and from the ship. 
it was evident that a large-scale alien invasion was underway worldwide. The enormity of the situation both fascinated and terrified them. They decided to remain in the factory for the time being, where they learned more about each other. Peter was a rehabilitated former convict who had been released from prison just a month ago. Arnold was a former reserve army soldier with combat training. Meanwhile, the aliens had taken over the town, establishing it as their operational base. At night, Matt, Amelia, and Dennis venture into the town to search for survivors and Jenny. They discovered aliens holding humans captive in a camp, intending to use them as laborers. Amelia gleaned from the captives that her mother and Peter's family had been relocated. Suddenly, another large spaceship arrived in the town. It was towering, housing hundreds of aliens, including their families. It became apparent that the aliens intended to colonize Earth. Matt returned and relayed this information to the group. As they were deliberating their next move, a burst of yellow light filled the room. Two alien soldiers had infiltrated the old factory and were conducting a search. Everyone took cover as the aliens began their search. Matt ambushed an alien from behind and engaged in combat. Peter attacked the other alien. The group collectively fought the aliens. The alien's armor shielded them from human bullets. Vanessa seized an alien weapon and shot at an alien, incapacitating it. Matt removed an alien's helmet, revealing its face, which Peter shot with a regular gun, killing it. During the skirmish, Arnold broke his hand. It was evident that the aliens were numerous and here to stay. They were now the colonizers. Their firepower greatly surpassed that of humans. An unspoken war between humans and aliens had begun for survival. The group, desiring freedom, initiated guerrilla warfare. They relocated from the factory to a nearby forest, where they established a hideout. Arnold began training the camp inhabitants in military tactics and firearm use. They began eliminating aliens one by one, using traps, seizing their weapons, and liberating many people. Arnold incorporated these freed individuals into his new army. Bella documented everything on her mobile phone through a video blog. The camp, which initially had a few people, grew to hundreds within days. They hunted aliens daily, which agitated the aliens. The aliens poisoned a pond near the camp, intending to kill everyone who drank from it. Upon learning this, Matt and the team abandoned the location and set up their camp in a dense forest. Every evening, the group would hunt the aliens, taunting them by suspending their bodies from a tree. Peter's wife and son remained unaccounted for. Their struggle would persist for the subsequent eight months. Later, Matt and Amelia discovered a girl named Chloe, who was a subject of alien experimentation. Chloe had absconded from the aliens after pilfering a device from them, which led to her being pursued. Two aliens ambushed her from behind, but Matt and Amelia retaliated and eliminated them. Unfortunately, Chloe succumbed to her injuries, and subsequently Arnold, Dennis, and Peter were seen at an alien landing site. The aliens were deploying hundreds of their kind here every week. This time, the group had planted explosives, which detonated in a massive explosion, causing numerous alien casualties and injuries. Amelia witnessed an alien mother and her infant crying. Back at the camp, Jackson, Bella, and Marcus had captured an alien. They were on the verge of executing him by setting him ablaze, a decision Amelia and Vanessa disagreed with. Amelia explained to Matt that just as Columbus discovered America and Cook discovered Australia, the aliens had discovered Earth. She suggested that they needed to adapt to cohabitating with the aliens as their old life was irretrievable. She proposed a ceasefire as a potential solution. Matt dismissed this, asserting that it was a war, and either they would perish or the aliens would. Amelia approached the captive alien with the device and inquired about its function. The alien displayed a hologram projection, revealing their home planet, their galaxy, Earth, and their bases on Earth. The aliens had infiltrated all the major cities on Earth and had been planning this invasion for centuries. Peter, Matt, and Arnold disagreed on how to handle the captive alien. Arnold viewed him as a war criminal, while Peter wanted to execute him. A heated argument ensued, culminating in Peter killing the alien. Life at the camp continued as usual, with Vanessa's due date approaching. She requested Jackson to stay close to her as much as possible. 
Amelia visited an alien-owned farm where they were cultivating something with the help of human laborers. As part of their nightly routine, Matt, along with the team including Jackson, went to gather supplies for the camp. Vanessa went into labor that night. The aliens had pinpointed the camp's exact location due to the activation of the device, and a large contingent attacked the campsite. A firefight ensued. Seth sacrificed his life in an attempt to protect Vanessa. Bella assisted in the delivery of Vanessa's baby, but Vanessa died due to severe blood loss. Matt and his team were unexpectedly attacked by aliens on their way to the old factory. They found themselves surrounded, but the Australian army came to their rescue, attacking the aliens from behind. Major Davis and his team managed to save Matt and bring him to their campsite, although Matt was unconscious due to a head injury. Jackson was devastated upon finding Vanessa's body. The next morning, the army transported everyone to their base. Colonel Davis praised them all as heroes, acknowledging that they had been hiding and fighting in the forest. He thanked everyone and ensured Vanessa was given a proper burial. They later met with army commander, Colonel Grant, who was leading a major operation. She revealed that, according to her intelligence, the aliens were protecting a biological weapon in the town that could potentially wipe out all humans. She also shared that about half a million people were currently held captive in Sydney and would be killed if not rescued. Colonel Grant's plan was to create a diversion in Sydney to draw the aliens' forces away from the town. She asked for everyone's help, especially since they were familiar with the town. The army was preparing to attack Sydney and cause chaos to distract the aliens. Everyone was ready to fight except for Jackson, who was grieving, and Arnold, who wished them well. Major Davis led everyone to the town where the aliens were farming. Peter spotted his wife Jenny there. Despite the intense battle in Sydney, the aliens did not move any soldiers from the town, indicating that Colonel Grant's plan was not working. She lost contact with Major Davis and decided against sending more reinforcements, leaving those in the town stranded. Upon hearing this, Jackson decided to join the fight and woke Matt up. They went to save their friends, with Jackson entrusting Arnold with the protection of his baby. Major Davis and his team launched a direct attack on the aliens in the field, while Matt and Jackson sneaked into the ship. They had brought bombs with them, intending to destroy the biological weapon in the ship. Meanwhile, the aliens began attacking the army base and the farm with their powerful laser guns. Major Davis called for air support, leading to a fierce battle between the aliens and the Australian Air Force. Matt and Jackson managed to kill several aliens and rescue many people. Later, Matt finds the biological weapon and takes it. As he tries to escape with it, he is surrounded by aliens. An alien commander, who had learned English in just eight months, confronts him. The alien states their intention to take over the planet, as their own planet has been destroyed. They believe humans are powerless and they have no choice but to kill humans to survive. Matt retorts that everyone has a choice. In the meantime, Jackson launches a surprise attack and rescues Matt. They both start to flee. Elsewhere, the battle at the farm intensifies, with the civilians who had been working for the aliens also joining the fight. An army officer takes control of a laser gun post and starts taking down the aliens. Matt and Jackson are on the run, with the aliens firing heavily at them. Jackson is severely injured and, realizing he is dying, asks Matt to leave him behind and take care of his baby girl. Matt, overcome with emotion, promises to do so and leaves. After Matt leaves, Jackson detonates the bombs they had brought, causing a massive explosion and destroying the ship. The aliens start losing the battle. Seeing the state of their ship, all the aliens fighting in the field surrender. Later, we see Peter and Bella embracing Samuel and Jenny. The rest of the people also reunite with their remaining family members. The army's attack on Sydney finally starts to work, and the aliens begin to lose there as well. Amelia, Matt, Marcus, and everyone else reunite. Amelia's mother is also found to be alive. Arnold learns of Jackson's death. Amelia, the pragmatic one, approaches an alien leader and asks if they want to coexist with humans on this planet. She asks if their people will end the war. The aliens were spread all over the world, with civilians and military personnel from every nation fighting and dying. The alien accepts Amelia's peace offer and announces a ceasefire by sending a message to all the ships. 
Some aliens surrender, while others refuse. Later, we see an army of aliens and humans fighting side by side against the rebellious aliens. <laughs>